against the Bible or whatever, and yeah. you just just like you know comment back. We yeah. get. I think we get more negative comments because Christians are crazy. <laughs> so, yes. Okay, I'm erratic. Prove it. Never mind. Got a mind that'll wind up with me in a lot of Back in the field with the track stars Ryan Righteous, Shantana, DJ Jeremiah. We got Chad Horton and Philip Root of Rapzilla in the building. How y'all doing? What's up? What's up? What's happening? (laughs) <laughs> it's good to have y'all, man Hey, what's up? Awesome. Yeah, great to have yeah. you guys on the show Yeah, man, so we're glad to finally sit down with you guys, man We've been we've been watching you guys move over the years since we first started We started in 2006 with the yep. show mm-hmm. And just uh, everybody's like, man, Rapzilla's like, you know, they doing it yeah. for Christian hip-hop, man So first of all, I'm sure everybody knows But like, how did all this get going? And then we move on to more fun stuff <laughs> well, I'll answer that. Um, I started it uh, in 2003 when I was 15 um, in Brussels, Belgium. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. Yes. That's what's up. I uh, was a missionary kid, was a big fan of Christian hip hop, and uh, just started the website. And uh, in 2010, partnered with this amazing guy right here. <laughs> yeah. And um, as soon as we partnered up, um, every year we just doubled in size and in traffic. And. Uh, here we are today, 2016. That's amazing. Wow. That's amazing. So when you jumped on board, like, because um, you you are connected with was it uh, all hip hop? Is that yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I wrote for the wrote for the website. Okay. Um, we connected because I had a website before his yeah. website, which is called Hip Hop for the Soul dot com. Okay. Remember that joint? And th- oh yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. So I'm not going to go into this to my testimony, but <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, but when I had that website, I wasn't even a Christian. Oh, wow. And so it's a crazy story. But, you know, hindsight, it's like, you know, you see how God had a plan all along. Mm-hmm. And you're just like, it's really unbelievable that I'm running a website that <laughs> I'm not even a Christian. So anyway, I did that um, for a while. And I kept trying to um, beat him off of my aim because he's always trying to. Well, a you messenger. Know, yeah, remember that? AOL instant messenger. Yeah. <laughs> hey, how can I get Grits Back contact? <laughs> hey, how can I contact John Rubin? Hey, how can I, you know, he's always trying yeah, like, to. I remember asking you, you got a contact for Goji Records? Yeah. He'd be like, no, he never shared me. <laughs> oh, wow. That's funny. And uh, so I'm talking to this kid in Belgium that's 15 on Instant Messenger, and that's when message boards were big back then. Yeah, yeah. So eventually, you know, we worked together on and off and kept in touch, you know, over the years, and then we eventually partnered up in 2010, so... Yeah, because I, I remember back back in those days, like everybody wanted to merge with everybody. Yeah. And everybody that always wanted to merge with me always wanted me to like drop Rapzilla and basically work for them. Right. right Chad right. was the same thing. I hated the name. But <laughs> and, and, <laughs> no, wow. Change the name. Man. Actually, yeah, a few people, a lot of people told me that they hated the name. I'm like, really? I love it. Um, but when in 2010 he wanted to come back, he was like, hey, you know, he didn't. He stopped doing hip hop for the soul. And he was like, hey, let's let's partner up. And I was like. I had to think about it. Could it either die, yeah, or we could just or it could explode. And I did it, and it exploded. So wow. praise the Lord. So let's yeah. talk about the explosion. I mean, because it, it really, really did. Um, how? I know you don't want to give away too much strategy here, but what, how? How did that happen? How did you guys take something that was still growing, yeah. right? I yeah. mean, Christian hip hop wasn't that big of a deal right. yet, yeah. but it kind of you kind of calvinized around something, and, and people just gravitated towards it. How did that happen during those? 2004 to 2009 years well i mean the 2004 to 2009 years are really sad because i don't know why i was doing rap solo all those years without like looking back at the numbers it looks really pathetic wow, oh, wow. um mm. you know the traffic was just, just like if i show you a chart of the traffic's like this and then we start working together and it's just like wow but i mean the mm. thing is you sometimes if you if you think you're on the top of the mountain and you know you guys seem surprised that it was like i was that low but it's just if you think you're on the top you're never going to grow because you think you're there you mm-hmm. think you're it and you think you made it um you know i remember asking advice like should i partner up and advice i got was like no you shouldn't you know you should do this by yourself yeah you know keep all the ownership but i'm like you know what i i was more interested in growth but not just growth for our company but growth in the genre and i knew we could take it to the next level and as soon as we started partnering up you know chad was like you know, we need to post content every day. And I'll tell him, I'm like, every day? Like, dude, <laughs> what on earth? Nobody you know? posted every single day. Yeah, yeah. There. Wow. Yeah. There just wasn't that much, there wasn't that much happening. Yeah. You know? So we, yeah, so that was one of the first things we did is just start posting something every day. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's little tweaks here and there. Um, but uh, I don't know. Where, where it went from there is, you know, we were like, 
posting every day and then of course you know we see see that change but at that point let's see 2010 that was i think right about when facebook really started taking off too oh yeah, yeah. Um, facebook blew up and during yeah, that time yeah and so yeah. you know you really didn't there was no there was twitter but nobody used it you know people were texting in 40404 yeah. you know what i mean like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and i was yeah. like what is that's that's stupid <laughs> so you know social media wasn't even where it was but one thing too is we were always the first ad- adopters to all like new technology so mm-hmm. we were on youtube in 2006 Oh, you, uh, you, I remember you were on YouTube before yeah, Rapzilla was. Well, syntax, wow. yeah, Syntax. Well, I was at soul, Syntax and Hip Hop for the Soul. Mm. It was, I copied them after a few months. I'm like, you know, I'm going to go on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that was 2006. And then, I mean, that was 10 years ago now. Yeah. Um, you know, Facebook, we were on Facebook first, Twitter first. You know, we were, of course, on my, you know, you were on MySpace. Everybody was on MySpace. Mm. And then we got on SoundCloud. Um, you know, really, the reason we got on YouTube was because uh, hosting videos was crazy. You yeah. know, to try to host a video on your own website oh, yeah. was just oh, insane. It's a, it's a pain. And so we're like, wait, we can upload videos and it's free and they host it, mm-hmm. you know? Um, so that was huge because then you, you can post all kinds of video content where you couldn't before. And people love that, you know, video content. And then, you know, from there it was, okay, well, just like the news and the media, why do people watch that mm-hmm. you know one of the reasons is because you you hear stuff there first yeah and so we you know we were like let's make sure we are first to post everything we could possibly and then from there we said let's do exclusives with people that want to do exclusives with us mm-hmm. wow. and so you know those those are really like the, the key drivers to our success you know mm-hmm. what about christian hip-hop like why do why do you believe in it like what made you say this could be a viable thing to spend my life on like what what did you see in it i never said that <laughs> <laughs> i don't think you ever said that either. well i mean <laughs> i just was a big fan and i just believed in the music because i thought it was one of the most powerful um, genres of music in the Christian market. Mm-hmm. I think when you look, when you look at the words, the lyrics, the testimonies, like there was so much. It was music that had so many. It can make a big impact, mm-hmm. um, but people weren't taking it seriously. People weren't listening. People didn't even know about it. Um, I don't think I ever saw it going where it is today. Um, but the thing is, I did love Christian hip hop more than anything else because you know back in the day I had a rock website as well, mm-hmm. and there was a time when. You know, I had to make a decision which one I wanted to work on the most. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the Christian Rock website or the Christian Rap site. If I wanted money, it was very obvious Christian Rock was the answer. Um, just because after starting that website, I, I think I started like in 2006, a few, like one month after starting it, I thought it was going to take me two years to get where Rabzilla was at. Mm-hmm. Um, it took me a month to, to actually surpass Rabzilla, wow. where wow. I was in contact with all the PRs, all the publicists, all the record labels, getting service. Like they were sending CDs in the mail to Belgium to get coverage. Like I was, it was so easy. The industry was there and the contacts were there and it was all, the setup was there. And it was just so easy to just dive in there because the professionalism was there. But mm. I had to make a decision and I decided to go with Rapzilla just because I was really passionate yeah. for that genre and I wanted to see that genre grow. So if I was all about the money, which is pretty funny and ironic now, is you know Christian rock is not where, yeah. where it used to be, um, and Rapzilla is you know it's surpassed um, the Christian rock genre. I mean, of course, I'm not saying that it doesn't exist. Yeah. Um, there's a big metal scene out there, mm-hmm. um, but if you just look at the what's pop, what's popping, and what's selling now, it's just it's for sure it's hip hop oh, over absolutely. rock. So. Um, I think it's just seeing something that was there and just want to be a part of it. I never, you know, people think like, you know, like, did you expect Rabs to ever be where it is today? I'm like, I had no idea. I just was a passionate teenager and just kept doing it every day. That's amazing. Yeah, I didn't either. Because, I mean, even when we partnered, I wasn't doing it to like, okay, let's make a bunch of money together. <laughs> yeah. You know, it was... You know, I just had the 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 itch that I needed to scratch in doing a website again. Like I yeah. just I love doing it. And so, you know, he was still doing it, I wasn't, and so you know, I was like, let's let's partner up and work together. So, you know, from there it's it's just everything, you know, the stars aligned for, you know, mm-hmm. reach, you know, it's just you know, it unfolded with reach blowing up, mm-hmm. um, hip hop getting bigger. The, just social media and the internet being more prevalent mm-hmm. so it just all kind of you know aligned so that's amazing how do you guys get it all done 
because you guys have so much traffic every day coming to the site so many uh just import of e- emails and requests to you guys how do you guys get it all done well I mean, <laughs> if you look up, look around in here you guys got one two three four five <laughs> six people in here so the same way really it's yeah. you know it takes a team mm-hmm. and so just like phil had to make that decision and he had the you know the foresight or you know whatever it is that made him go which is what most people don't do is okay i can either keep doing what i'm doing and it could take a lot longer Mm -hmm. and i can do it myself or i can give up some and partner with someone Mm -hmm. and try to get there you know quicker and so um we have this guy that i call the wizard of oz of christian hip-hop um, Steven Solis and he he runs the submission box yeah he's actually discovered uh, at this on, point really. discovered and put on and broke more artists that are big now in Christian hip hop than probably anyone ever no, he's, and oh, wow. you know and most people don't even know he's, he exists you know? <laughs> wow. um, and so you know him David Daniels he's the best writer in David, Christian yeah, hip hop he he's amazing, amazing. He's a, a real journalist. You know, he used to write for Bleacher Report and some others. And, um, you know, aside from him, we just keep having people that come alongside us that want to want to help. You know, so we have Justin Sarachik. He used to write for Christian Post. He writes for us as well now. Um, and we've had people intern, you know, over the years on and off. Um and then now we have Wande, and she's doing really dope, like, recap videos. She mm-hmm. actually does everything on her own. Like, mm-hmm. she does the shooting, the editing. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, man. The visuals, you know, Rare the time. graphics on it. So it takes a team, you know. And um, a lot of what we have, too, I, I, I'm i grateful for Tim at Syntax Creative because, mm-hmm. you know, formerly Syntax Records. Because really, you know, I worked there for the last eight years. And so a lot of the contacts that we've been able to, uh-huh. to benefit off of are from me being there, too. Okay. You know, like Thanks, we... Tim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks, Tim. Uh, Tim is awesome. Um, he is. He really is. And, you know, for example, which we haven't even announced yet, but we'll give it. We'll give you guys an exclusive. Okay. Oh, cool. Premiere. Um, so we're an fa- official Apple Music curator, so we'll have our own That's playlist awesome. on there. Oh, wow. So, mm. so without Tim and me like cool. Syntax, no, we wouldn't crazy. have that. Crazy. You know? Here's so. what I don't understand about y'all. This is what I don't get. I'm going to be honest with you. You guys seem to be okay being behind the scenes like I never yeah. see y'all <laughs> never in like front of a camera yeah. of well, Phil Zilla. can't dance <laughs> no, but I'm and really, I can't rap I remember telling you this last year I'm like why don't y'all ever get in front like, like why are you never on like, screen I like to blend in at festivals where people don't know who I am so they don't yeah. I like to be Ben Washer you know nobody yeah. knows who he is. Yeah. My, 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 my passion and like I find the most joy in just making moves like mm-hmm. making business like business is fun to me Yeah, mm-hmm. like I just love doing business and so you know that's not something that you do on camera yeah. you yeah. know and I mean some people do you know like Puffy he's, yeah. he's been on camera a lot yeah. and he does a lot of business <laughs> too yeah. he does both really well yeah. you know but I, you know I, for me if I'm doing that then I'm not doing something behind the scenes you know because your time is split if you're splitting it you know if not then you focus on something else yeah. we're like the producers so, you know we're just we're just we're just we're behind, behind the scenes, the scenes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. right right mm-hmm. no I mean so, it, it's amazing just because so many people want to be in front I do want to be I'm just not that comfortable. With it. <laughs> yeah. I would love to be on Periscope like like Vossier is like all yeah, the time. Yeah. And I'm just like I can't. I can't know. do it. Yeah. I'm like I don't even witty. know what to talk about right now. <laughs> I don't know. So. I, I, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. Yeah, Maybe I'll see. do something. I, I, I don't think know. I, I, I I suggested it. He's a millennial, so he's more <laughs> com- he's more comfortable than I would be doing it on Periscope all day long. Or yeah, I just love doing videos, taking photos, and yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We'll see. What is the overall goal for you guys? Like. From from this point on, as you see building ten years from now, where, what areas do you want to accomplish? What what are, what are some places you guys want to be? Um, I still want to be alive <laughs> <laughs> or be in heaven. Some days I just like I just want to be in heaven. Like, yeah, God, just take me. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I mean, for me, I'm a family man. I have two kids and a wife now, okay. and so. Um, you know, my number one priority is to provide from them, for them and yeah. to do the best thing I can for them. Um, but, you know, as far as Rapzilla, 
as a brand, I think we just want to keep always growing, you know, mm-hmm. doing cool new things and doing them first and innovative, and, you know, just be innovative because that's how you, you can, you continue to grow, you know, it's, you can't be the same. So for us, like we've had a same website for a few years, so we want to launch a new website soon. We want to do things like the Apple music curator. Mm-hmm. We have a Spotify playlist. You know, I wish we would have did that earlier. You know, we have 5,000 followers now, um, on there. Uh, we're going to launch our podcast with Chris Chicago. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to launch that on Spotify because they have podcasts yeah. as well. So just doing those things, like just continuing to grow and continuing to expand the brand and give you know give a bigger platform to people to to preach the gospel through hip hop. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Yeah, well, I I think the thing I'm the music guy for from us. So it's like when you guys put out those um, the the. The, the freshman and then also just like the music that you guys been through this for so many years and I kind of feel like I'm in the same boat with him because I was like I want to hear people to hear this music because I love it and I think it's dope so like what do you guys see for CHH as being one of the front runners of yeah. CHH you know what I mean well, I mean, right now the climate is it's not cool to be a Christian rapper. <laughs> you know, we don't want to be a Christian hip hop. Like, we don't want to be put in a box and yada, yada. Um, for me, we're rallying around people that do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, you can call it that or you can not call it that. But the bottom line is your core demographic are people that agree yeah. with your worldview. Yeah. And that worldview is coming from the Bible. Yeah. And we're Christians. And you rap. Therefore, you're a Christian rapper. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah. people are going to label something, and the, and it, the point isn't to put you in a box. It's so they can find you. Mm. You know what I mean? It's so they can say, okay, well, this is dating myself, but okay, I'm looking through the bin mm-hmm. of CDs. How do I find among five trillion CDs who I'm trying to look for, which are people that make this the kind of content that I'm interested in hearing? And so. You know, just like when you go on a, an iTunes or an, a Spotify, you know, and if you're a Christian, the likelihood a lot of times is you're going to search for who's Christian right. and how mm-hmm. do you find that? Yeah. There needs to be a genre or a subgenre carved out so people can go, I'm going to that section, you know? And so mm-hmm. it just is what it is. And, you know, I, me personally, I just want to keep growing the platform so that whoever is okay with that continues to grow and has a platform to get bigger on because without it you know to to be frank like there's no reason that hip-hop dx or all hip-hop would cover christian hip-hop if it Uh didn't bring them traffic yeah Yeah. and that's you know that was my proposal when i came to all hip-hop i'm like this is going to bring you traffic let me write about it you know Mm -hmm. and i did that with the the sole focus of growing the platform for christian hip-hop because i wasn't getting paid i wasn't you know i wasn't even a writer i was just doing it for that purpose i just had access and so how do hip-hop too yeah how do hip-hop and and hip-hop dx so they're not covering it because they're passionate about Christian hip hop. They're covering it because it brings numbers, yeah. and it brings numbers because all of us have done this for years. Yeah, you know. And so, I want to rally around those people, and th- it's always going to be here. You know, it always has been here, but it just continues to grow because people, you know, don't waver on, you know, on that vision. So, I, I just want to add quickly. I think it's a terrible new trend, um, just because the thing is, I'm not opposed to go in that direction. But what I am opposed to is the fact that I think people forget how some of these rappers got where they're at, yeah. mm-hmm. and so they're looking. You know, they want to, they want to, they want to achieve what they're achieving. They want to be. Copy. They want to copy, and when they copy, they kind of forget how they got there. They're just looking at what they're doing now. Well, they just right. don't know because they're new kids, and mm-hmm. they're looking at. Well, they're up there, so I'm going to do what they're doing. But I'm going to do what they're doing them. right now. But they what yeah. they forget is they were Christian artists that dominated the Christian hip-hop scene, that then dominated the Christian music scene. And if you want to naturally grow, automatically you're going to want to expand and do that. So now they want to dominate other scenes. But they're not really dominating. They're just infiltrating in some mm-hmm. way. But I think the whole, the whole like, like Chad was saying, like saying you're not a Christian rapper just because you want to open more doors, I just think that's extremely whack because that's who you are. And anybody who always listens to you will always say that. Even the secular websites will say that. It just, I think it causes more confusion than anything else and I think that confusion is no, is no good. Wow. Now, how do you how do you got cuz um 
being at the top of anything is going to come with a lot of yeah. criticism. We get a lot of criticism. What? We get tough. So I know you guys <laughs> get a lot of criticism. How do you You've deal seen with that? You've seen our comment section, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On any platform. I, I, I remember the uh, the list y'all put out. Got so much backlash. Yeah. We ended up doing a line for line based off of it. But like, how, how do you guys deal with that? Because when we first started, we got a ton of criticism. Ignored People were like, it. I can't believe that. Da, 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 da. Um, yeah, it's gotten it was, better. but I ignore it 100%. I mean, there was one day, I, I think I was on the phone with some rapper and uh he said like hey man bridge somebody commented this on your side i was like really i went on the site i shut down the whole comments mm. um I, was, I told chad i'm like chad we're done with comments i shut it down and chad was like yay <laughs> the comments are gone and you know i think they were gone for like a, a week and after a week we're like well we, i think we need to bring them back because it, yeah. it felt like crickets yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. it felt like nobody was on the website but what we did do is we just changed our, our comment system where we use facebook mm -hmm. um and the reason why we use facebook was just you know then you're people. accountable you can see who's coming you can see who, who the person yeah, is yeah, you can you see their, their facebook That's profile yeah. so then the people that really want to talk and talk trash we see who they are and they're just not ashamed of talking trash and saying a bunch of nonsense but i think just like any industry and just like anything on this earth when you grow when you have a platform and the larger your platform gets the more backlash you're going to get mm -hmm. yeah so i understand that perspective even with these christian rappers today they're really popular and even with us and different things like the big you get you're going to get haters but I, even the term hater i don't i hate mm -hmm. like it's just i think it's almost like an excuse sometimes yeah. and then mm -hmm. we, we categorize all these people in one big group but really they're all different and really i think um people that have something negative to say they're always going to say it like it's the internet um when you yeah. watch a video you love you don't you're not going to comment saying oh i love it you're just going to be like cool nice video yeah. and then you're going to maybe tell a friend but yeah. if you hate something and you think like it's against the bible or whatever and yeah. you just just like you know comment back we yeah. get i think we get more negative comments because christians are crazy so, <laughs> yes like, they, yes they're just well, crazy immature know, it's great. immaturity it's yeah, immaturity it is, it is, um yeah. you know you, you get on fire and then you just want to point the finger at everyone it's immaturity so sometimes you know i watch what i i try to be careful with what i say because words have power and sometimes yeah. you don't want to just comment out of ignorance um, but I think a lot of times it's just ignorance and immaturity. And, you know, if, if I make the mix and I've made some mistakes in the past, but yeah. at least I, I, at least I can say I have. <laughs> yeah. People don't have the perspective, um, that artists do or people in media do. They don't understand, you know, a lot of times that even artists are people, you know, right. cause mm -hmm. when you get big, you get to a point to where you're just, they, you know, what yeah. I mean? like, yeah. they, mm -hmm. they, this, or, you know, even, even though you're saying he, that, like, if you're referring to Lecrae, it's like, he's so big, he's almost like a character or a figure mm -hmm. instead of a real guy. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. just, it's, and it's because you don't know him, you know? And, and if you meet people in person, like you do at flavor fest or legacy or these different events that we're at, then you know, then you kind of see, oh yeah, they're a real person, they're a real human, you know, and then you kind of ease off of, you know, being so harsh with people. That's good. So let's end, let's end on what's next. So what's, where can Christian hip hop go? Is, is there a cap to this? Uh, do you see sky's the limit? Can we really penetrate the mainstream industry with the music we're putting out or is it limited? So. <laughs> and I, was say, I have a question for you. Um, when you see the Christian hip hop artists and they're being signed by these major labels, um, do you feel when like that's major gonna, labels as in well, let's see, like um, Capital. Columbia, Capital, yeah. they get these, they mm. get these deals. Do you feel like that's going to change everybody's output? That's in Christian well, hip hop, or is I it mean, right now we're in, we're in a new phase of Christian hip hop where. All the major Christian labels are looking to jump into the pool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I don't really consider the capital as. as there a, are no major labels in, right. in Christian hip hop. Mm -hmm. There are none. Like this, that's that's Capital CMG, which is right. the Capital Christian Music Group. Um, so it's just the Christian division of Capital that mm -hmm. are just run run by Christians. I'm assuming. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> and yeah. uh, you know, I mean, I think for me, when I see that, I remember there was some meeting, and you're like, like sound the alarm with all these artists, like sound the alarm. They're coming in, mm -hmm. you know, where they're going to take the piece of the pie. And I was there and I just was like, you know, like, excuse me, guys, but like, this is not a problem. Like, mm -hmm. this is a good thing. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, especially just coming from Rapzilla, I'm like, of course, it's a good thing. We're having more professional people coming in the business. But from my point of view is I don't think they're going to take a piece of the pie. They're going to grow the pie. Mm -hmm. right. Why? Because they are going to put this genre of music in front of more consumers 
I mean, look at NF. Look how fast he climbed yeah, he the, the chart. Look, yeah. and he didn't climb it because from coming in from our industry, he cl- he climbed it because they just marketed him very smart and really good. Mm-hmm. And um, I remember when his album came out, people were like, "It's fake," you know, they're fake sales. They're buying it. I'm like, "No, it's not." They just know what they're doing in marketing wise. Mm-hmm. Um, but to go back with what you were saying, mm-hmm. it's it's going to grow the pie because. They're spending more money and they have more access. <laughs> and they're so they're, much they're more professional. A major, they're, they're through a major <laughs> label, so they have more access. And mm-hmm. you know, like a social club, social club would have never gotten on playlists that they're on now on Spotify, to where they get you know, a hundred thousand plays and you know a month they're mm-hmm. getting on those huge playlists because those huge playlists are owned by the major labels mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. so yeah. only yeah. major labels have that access and those playlists have hundreds of thousands mm-hmm. or millions of followers so if you get put on one of those playlists then you're going to get tons of exposure that you wouldn't have gotten you know it's far and few between that you that you get that if you're not through a major label system mm-hmm. yeah. so i th- I think Christian hip hop is an interesting place because we're in a place of major growth. Yeah, I mean we've grown up really fast, but then there's kind of like an identity crisis at yeah. the same time. But there's more growth coming, so I think we have to figure out who we are, and then we can get we can we can jump on this new bandwagon that's going this new roller coaster that's going back up. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't go down. <laughs> <laughs> the roller coaster goes down and then naturally goes back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um, I know you guys are going to be a big part of that. Um, mm-hmm paving way for a lot of us so um thank you guys for joining us yeah thank you so much it's been a yeah, long time great. coming thank you for having us absolutely yeah, yeah, i appreciate absolutely. it all right man let's get back into it. you in the field with the track stars ryan righteous shantana dj jeremiah let's go with me in the line of behind bars with these bars okay my time uh, team freedom yeah we not through yet all right track stars music present